Good morning! Today is Monday and we are exploring the Cambridge area today. But first, I have to go to class. So we're on our way to Marine Bio and then to do all our student responsibilities and then we can explore. Okay, I got out of TV management, had to hop on like a Zoom call so I could get yelled at by my boss. And now, oh, and I got a bite to eat from Marciano. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get to the Harvard Museum of Natural History. It's gonna take 16 minutes to drive, which I can't do. About 45 minutes to take the tea. An hour walk, which I don't wanna do because it closes at five. And then a 20 minute bike ride, but it, it's along the Charles and it like goes on underpasses on the highway. And I don't think I'm brave enough to do that today. So we're just gonna take the tea. I made it to Harvard Square 30 minutes earlier than I had expected or wanted to be. We're on our way to Harvard's Museum of Natural History, which closes at 5. So I'm happy that we got here 30 minutes earlier than the tea said. But we're walking around Harvard Yard now, which I walked around before and wasn't like, it didn't blow my mind or whatever. So this is Harvard Yard. Be sure that's the library. I don't know if you guys are getting the same vibe as me, but it's really simple, um, especially when it's not like super green. But it's cool, right? I mean, overall, the campus is beautiful. It seems really peaceful. Also, the campus is huge. Like compared to BU, where we only have one street of our campus, it's insane. Apparently, it's this one. Damn, it's empty here. That's crazy. It's Monday on a 3.30 though, so I guess it's not that crazy. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Doing all right, thanks. Where are you visiting from? BU. Great. Do you have a student ID on you? Yes, I do. This is my first time here. Okay, congratulations. What, where should I go? All right, well, uh, right now you're in the natural history uh, side of the museum. Bling back through Animals, the minerals, because then you uh, can cross through there to go to the Peabody Museum as well. Cool, what's up? So that? that's our Museum of Archaeology. And that's cool, yeah. thank you very much. You have a good one. Go up the stairs? Ideally, yes. Cool, thank you. Oh my god. I'm not really learning much about these because there's no information besides the little like tags. But they are so cool to look at. Dude, that color is so pretty. Oh my god, that color is so pretty. This is so cool, it's saying how, depending on the arrangement of the atoms, how their shapes differ. Like that's in cubic, that's triclinic. This is just absolutely insane that they have rocks from the Grand Canyon 742 million years ago, with fossilized this. Dude, like what is that? It's They're saying there's a flying fox bat that has a wingspan of six feet. This thing is like a picture of these on the internet the other day. These are crazy. That is so freaking cool. A sack of gloss on sea slug. Aniela would hate this, but those are daddy long legs. It's another spider. Holy crap, what are sea spiders? This guy, David Rockefeller, right here is nuts. He used these supplies throughout his life, starting from like seven years old, I said, to collect all of these. Look how crazy that is. Like they're all pinned in with a little piece of paper, I'm guessing like saying like some info about them. Check out these. Damn, they have paleontology. Sick as fuck. But they also have a shark exhibit, bro. Dude, this is sick. They scanned and large and 3D printed two sets of shark denticles. Which denticles are apparently what their 
skin is made up of. God. Dude, these are so beautiful. That's insane. Over 300 species of living hummingbirds. I do want a hummingbird tattoo. Which one should I get? Damn, that one without the head. That's not funny, what happened to it? A crab eating raccoon. Never heard of that, but that's kind of awesome. The kids that I babysat last year would absolutely hate this place. I once brought them to like a local nature preserve and the one kid saw a taxidermy raccoon on the ceiling and he cried himself the rest of the day. So if any kid is watching this, please click off the video right now. I'm dying. What is this? That's crazy. Holy crap, that's insane. A Siberian tiger. Oh, oh my god, so cute. Dude, a freaking parakeet. For what? Oh my goodness. It's a jellyfish. That would actually be a really cool room decor. Okay. Look at the fish. This reminds me of Ryan. Why is this um, museum reminding me of like everybody I know? I just saw a monkey and I thought of Karen. Dude, that's a sick crab. Bruh, come on. <laughs> Look at this one. I think this one is in Madagascar. I don't know what character it is, but like... You guys know what I'm talking about. Please say you do. Dude, that's crazy. This is an American bison. We're manifesting that I get to see this um, either this summer or next summer when we road trip through the Midwest in my Subaru Forester. You're lying that this is a whale skeleton. Seal is so sad. But since when were seals this furry? As I said, whales are my favorite animals, so this is crazy to me. They were assigned their own um, order Cetacea, Cetacea, um, but now they're being paired with the hippopotamus into this group. I'm actually having so much fun. Um, I'm not learning a ton, but I definitely want to come back when, you know, I'm not going to bring a camera, I'm not going to bring a book bag, and I'm literally just going to like walk and look and take my time. Just left the Harvard Museum of Natural History, and I actually had so much fun. That was a lot more fun than I thought. It would have been and it makes me want to visit the Museum of Natural History in New York when I'm back home because I bet that this is like a little bit smaller than that. I was going to go to this restaurant called Orinoco but it's actually closed on Mondays which I had no idea. Right now I'm gonna go to the Harvard bookstore. I think I'm gonna have to change the title of this video and the whole premise of this video to exploring Cambridge, Massachusetts only because there's no food that I saw in the Harvard Square area that I'm too interested online, but we're gonna walk around, see if we can find anything cool, and maybe stop in. They have this completely used section down in the basement, which is so awesome. I could definitely spend hours here, but I'm not going to because I still have a couple books in the dorm that you need to get through. What I am gonna get is this Steve Martin's Born Standing Up. It's only $8, and I actually wrote this in my senior year elective madness and comedy class, and it's one of the reasons why I switched my majors from business to film at the time, so I'm gonna give it a reread, see why I liked it so much. Okay, no food place stood out to me in the Harvard Square area, so we left, and we came to the central stop to go to... Oh, come on. It's smart. this place reminds me of home okay, these look hot as hell but it's a duck bucky snack and it looks bomb the colors on this look bomb but i know that's like probably super hot it's six dollars i don't know if i want to pay six dollars for a bag of chips definitely gonna grab these these are awesome and these tempura chips look good just because i always am craving something crunchy in the dorm if I'm like studying for a dollar forty-nine I'm gonna grab one of these noodle snacks because me and my siblings just eat these but in the little packets. For the future I have to remember to look up if restaurants are open on Mondays 
in the Cambridge area because it looks like half of them are literally closed. On our way to Mama Lay's Deli in Cambridge um, or near the MIT area. So what I got? I got the Nova Lock sandwich on an everything bagel toasted. I got a cup of matzo ball soup and that's it. It all came out to $23. The Lox sandwich was $13.75, which is a lot, but I don't think it's that bad considering we're in a city. I am from New Jersey, which has the best bagels in the entire world. My hometown was named one of the top bagel stores in the country, I think, River Road Bagels, but okay. So I haven't even tried to bother with the bagels in Boston. Um, a lot of people I know like pavements bagels, but I'm not spending like 15 bucks on a bagel that's like not made at the shop. I hate saying negative things when I'm in the place. It's good. Not worth 14. The bagels in New Jersey are superior. This bagel's not very thick and like, I got it toasted, but the, the crust is very like chewy. But it's not soft. It's a weird like in between. The fish is good. The soup. I got matzo ball soup, which I haven't had in forever. This was six bucks. What is this, a pint? It's so mid. I don't want to use that as a metric, but it is. Then again, I don't really have matzo ball soup, so I don't really know what to compare it to. But I feel like I could make a better one. Okay guys, that is the end of my video. After this, I'm taking the tea back home. It's a Monday. I'm gonna get ready for bed, get ready for class tomorrow. Get ready for the rest of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'll see you in the next one. Quick chip review. Not it's good. Mm. Compared to those, six out of ten. Oh, there's a whole process to it.